Okay, Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Good day again. So today we will be providing examples on how to simplify different kinds of rational expressions. Okay, so firstly, let's try to simplify um, rational expressions that is that has monomials for um, the numerator and our denominator. Okay, so first example, say we have 27a squared divided by 36a. So then again, sabi ko sa inyo, the main method of finding our um to call this our simplest form is by simply factoring our given. Okay? So if a factor niyo siya. So for for in this case, ito um what I said is factoring, pero may other means of solving, okay? But first, let's define ano ba yung main way of answering this one, okay? So we try to factor as much as we can. So let me show you this one. Where is this? Okay. So the factors, firstly, of 27 is just simply um, 9. 3 times 3 is 9, and 9 times 3 is. Um, let me check if I am correct. Okay, 9 times 3 is 27. So, ayun na. So this is 3 times 3 times 3. Okay. And for A, since that is um, under loss of exponent. That is times a times a. Bakit? Kasi a squared, kasi dalawa yung a. Okay. And for 36, that is simply 2 times 2 times 3 times 3. Because 6 times 6 is 36. This is 6. This is 6. Therefore, we have 36. And that is a cubed. So a, a, a. And then just like pagdating sa, ano, sa sinabi ko before na cancellation, okay, we will cancel. But then again, Please take note na iba po yung sagot sa ganito. Okay? 2 plus 5 over 2 plus 6. Hindi po ganito yung sagot niyan. Baka i-cancel out niyo yung 2. Cancellation will only happen when there is multiplication. Okay? So firstly, co-cancel natin lahat ng parehas. 3 and 3. 3 and 3. This 3 has no more partner sa may baba. Right? So therefore, we retain this 3. So this is good. The 2 has no partners sa taas. Therefore, the 2's will retain. Baka itanong nyo, itong 2 at 2, ikakancel ko yan. You cannot. Cancellation, again. Uh, another um, concept on cancellation, it will be, um, it will happen only, if and only if there are two terms na parehas, isa sa taas, sa numerator, at isa sa baba, sa main denominator. Okay? Next one, you have a and a, and a and a. No more partner for A, so therefore it is retained. And lastly, isulat nyo lahat ng natira, which is 3. And 2 times 2 is 4. And A magisa, therefore we have A. And this would be your simplest form. Now ngayon, sa case nyo, um, may mga instances na baka ang pwede nyo na lang gawin is to factor it out in a sense na merong kayong maka-cancel. Meaning, hindi naman pwede, hindi, syempre kung mas malaking given nyo, mas nakapagod gawin to, right? So, there are easier ways. You can factor in a sense na i-project nyo at least may magiging parehas. 9 times 3 and a squared all over 4 times 9 times a squared times a. Okay? This one and this one is also equals to a cubed because a squared times a is a cubed. And 4 times 9 is 36 still. And 9 times 3 is 27. So, madaling mag-cancel. Right? Parehas, 9, 9. A squared, A squared, and then A. Parehas lang ang sagot. Okay? So, it does not necessarily mean na ang kailangan yung gawin is prime factorization. Meaning, if a factor out niya siya fully. Okay? May mga instances na if you are capable of visualizing at least in your heads kung ano yung mga possible na factors na meron kang pwedeng immediate na i-cancel out not necessarily it being a prime number ito hindi to prime number okay then please do so so ito lang um, kung kaya nyo yung i-factor na may maikita kayo na parehas na ito parehas gawin nyo yun okay but then again this one is a very sure way of answering the simplest form okay another method so ito sagot dito 3 over 4a pa rin. Okay? So, another method of doing that 
So, ito yung isang way. Yan. Another means of doing this is by applying yung ating concept of the GCF. Okay? And also, for the um, variables, applying the concept of loss of exponent. Okay? So, ngayon, yung 27 and um, 36, okay? Ang GCF niyan is... Ang GCF niyan is, of course, 9. Okay? So, you divide both sides by 9. Okay? And then, a squared and a cubed. Ang GCF niyan, basically, is just simply a squared. Okay? So, what you need to do is you just have to divide both by this one. Okay? So, ang 27 divided by 9, the answer is 3. And a squared divided by a is simply 1. So, hindi ko na ilalagay. And 36 divided by 9 is 4. And a cubed divided by a squared. Under the loss of exponent, that is a cubed minus 2. And that would simply be a. Okay? So, yielding the same answer, we have three methods. Okay? The first one is, of course, prime factorization. The second one is just simply um, factoring. And then the third, third one is by the GCF. Okay? So, it's up to you kung anong manadadalian ka. You can use both. Okay? Uh, you can use three to check. Pero we only need one to get the answer. Okay? Because they will always yield the same result. Okay po? Sige. Let's have another example. Something um, bigger. Which is, uh, let's have our 12. Um, let me whip something up. And place a 10. And Q and P raised to 7. Divided by 28M squared and raised to 7 and p raised to 12 okay so this is how i actually do this okay ang ginagawa ko nililist ko lang sila sinusulit ko lang as is and this is me okay it's not the way that i would want you to do it kung sa tingin nyo okay sa inyo then go ahead okay so ang ginagawa ko firstly sa may letters pag may parehas na letter aalisin ko yung may maliit na exponent and then yung taas, babawasan ko dun sa inalis ko. Which is 10 minus 2. The answer is 8. Aalisin ko yung maliit at yung malaking exponent, babawasan ko nung maliit. Which is 7 minus 3. The answer is 4. Aalisin ko yung maliit. Yung malaking exponent, babawasan ko nung maliit. 12 minus 7 is 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. The answer is 5. Okay. And then, for the numbers, of course, division. I always divide by 2, 3, 5, and so on. Basta prime number. 12 divided by 2, divided by 2. The answer is 6. 28 divided by 2, the answer is 14. Divide by 2, divide by 2, the answer is 7. Pwede pa bang i-divide? No more. Therefore, your answer is 3. Copy M8. Wala nang N, wala nang P. All over. 7 and raised to 4 p raised to 5 and that is another way of you for it to, for you to solve this one and for me this is easier ang ginagawa mo lang divide lang ng divide by 2 para sa numbers or by 3 depende kung saan siya divisible and lastly you're just simply eliminating the exponents binabawasan mo na exponent base dun sa pinakamaliit okay so ganun lang siya kadali okay so, I hope you got that. And maybe let's have another example. This is again for monomials lang po. And let me find one. Okay, let's have 48. I'm looking for a given. Let's have 48C cubed D raised to 8. And um, 50C squared D twelve, okay. Uh, eight to eight, just the same. So same, same. Pinagawa ko. I just have to list it down in a way na may onting space naman, para hindi masyadong nakakalit. Pero at in first day, ang ginagawa ko talaga hindi ko naman talaga um ini space out. So ginagawa ko lang to para makita niyo may ingay. Alisen yung common letter na may pin amalit. Three minus two. The answer is 1 
Mali at mali sen. 12 minus 8 is 4. Divide by 2, 24. Divide by 2, 25. 24 and 25 are they divisible by a certain number? That's 5, I guess. And this one is 48, so wala na. Hindi sila divisible for both. Walang GCF on 24 at 25. Therefore, the answer is 24 C raised to 1 or just simply C divided by 25 D raised to 4. Okay? And therefore, this is your final answer. Okay? So, you can use any method that you would like to. Kung ano hindi kayo nalilito. But I would assume ito yung mas, mas gusto kong gamitin nyo. Kasi bakit? Yan yung shortcut eh. I mean, not necessarily the shortcut for every given, pero this is my method of solving. I think medyo mabilis. So, ano lang kailangan yung abilities dito? Okay? So, let's have an ability check. First ability that you need is, of course, you know how to find the GCF. And then, the next ability that you need is you know how to subtract. So, yun lang. Bakit? Kasi sa not letters, subtraction lang tayo. Okay? For the numbers, the GCF lang. Okay? So, I hope you do got this one. Thank you for listening again, everyone. Um, our further examples for simplifying um, like rational algebraic expressions will be provided. Especially yung mga hindi na monomials. Okay? So, thank you for listening, everyone, again. And assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.